hi I'm Nick and this is Cloud Cripple Bullshit I made up the name myself anyway in this episode I'll show you how to use voice attack have you ever tried playing a game where there's a million different buttons you need to press. Uh, but of course, you can only really push a couple. Well, voice attack makes this very easy. You can push all sorts of buttons, even combinations of buttons through voice commands. It's a very powerful tool to re-enable cripples like me and you or even if you're not anyway I'll show you how to do this and set it all up I'll show you the entire process of downloading and installing and setting it all up just go to voice attack Dot com. Uh, don't worry, voice attack is a tiny download, so it won't blow your download limit. Now just go to your downloads directory and double click on the downloaded file just continue through the install till you come to the end click finish your install will be slightly different to mine because I've installed it before but you will it will prompt you to run the windows voice recognition training wizard you have to run this or else voice attack will not run properly I recommend you do it a number of times I did it twice another important thing that you need to do is to modify the shortcut for voice attack. So you just right click, go into the properties for the shortcut, click on the compat compatibility tab, and click on the tick box, run as administrator. This is important because it makes all the programs recognize voice attack correctly. Starcraft 2 is one of those games that has a shortcut for everything, which makes it really difficult for disabled people to play. In Starcraft 2, one of the first things you want to do is set up control groups. You do that by right clicking on the little blue square down the bottom there. and by pushing either number one or number two, you can quick select these units. Voice attack can be used to do this as well. I'll show you how. The first thing you would need to do is create a profile by clicking on this drop down box. Just type in the name for the profile you wish to create. In my case, it'll be StarCraft 2. But this works for any game. The next thing you will need to do is add a command to your profile. Just click on the new command button and this window appears. 
Now you type in the command that you want to speak. Uh, in this case, it will be Control Group 1. Then you click on the button here that says Key Press because it's the key we want to press. The number 1 key, so you just push the key. Press OK and then click OK again. And making a command is that simple. I have now set up two control groups. Control group 2. Control group 1. This is particularly handy for selecting units when they're off the screen. Control group 2. Another cool thing you can do with voice attack is multi-button commands. See, once you select a worker, the command to build a cannon turret is B and then C. Every command in StarCraft has a shortcut you can access in this way. Adding multi-button commands is exactly the same as adding single button commands. Just go edit profile, click on the new command button. Now we just type in the command we want to speak. Um, in this case it will be build cannon. Now, as before, click on key press. Our first key will be B. Press OK. Just do the same thing again. This time pushing C. Press OK. OK. Now, when we go back into the game, You'll see, you select a worker, then we can just say our command, build cannon. Build cannon. Build cannon. Voice attack is a handy program that you can use for all sorts of games and other applications. Thank you for watching.